So with the empty hand, uh, when, when you're just doing the hands, what's the sort of main principle? Because obviously when you're using a knife or a stick, um, it's very easy to do damage, but when you're using empty hand, I suppose you need to rely on striking certain areas or more combinations yes. Yes. or like... So the, the, when, when, I, when I apply the sticks here, so it's the same, because I always hit you in, in, in uh, the soft area, see, in soft area here, so that's the soft area, see, that's the soft area, that's the soft area, so it's the same movement here, see, so that's the soft area, see, hmm. Bang! See? Then what do I do? I bring it to the face. See? Mm. Bang! Check! Mm. Pop! He blocked my left Pop! He blocked me. See? Look at my left hand. Bang! See? So in the exercise, look this way. See? In the exercise, look this way. One, two, three. See? Bang! Pop! Bang! I can use elbow. Look at my, my hands here. It's, it's covered. So in indexes one two, bang, see? So it's an application again. Mm. See, you see this all, you all hitting the the the, the soft area. This is the same application yeah. of this. This is movement. Mm. You call it do move, keep it. This, when I hit you here, pop, mm. he blocks me. Look at this. Mm. It's already here. And look at my, my knee. I'm coming back. That's that. Mm. Block more. Mm. Look at this. Again, he's on the other side. See? And look at this. When I pull him down, look at this, my elbow. Pop, and then pull him here. Mm. See? And then when I push, Push his uh, spine here. Ah! That will be more pain. See? Yeah. Right? So he just broke his neck and then his spine. Yeah. Right? So yeah. So it, it can it can be an application like this. See? St uh, the stick it goes straight to 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 the to the wrist. So it, it can be uh, uh, with a good delivery. Bang! So you you paralyze him. See? So there are there are, there are several ways of doing it. So so it can be this one or it can 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 be this one. See a bat. See hmm. there. See it can be here or it can be here. See it can it can be a bat. So it's the same application. If I do this and then I can use the bat. See I can use the bat and I use the bat. See so this these are if you look at it, it has the same pattern, the same movement. Because this one I was using a long distance strike, so I can come here or I can come far. See, I can come far. Or I can get inside, bang, bang. I can get inside, bang, the same, see? And I can count them, one, two, attack, three, see? Again, the same, see? He hits me here, I can use again this one, see? It's uh, the bad type and check, bang, hit me here, I can use again, see? Hmm. So you see now I can use this. I can use this. Mm -hmm. Now I, I will I will include the mano mano on the six directly. He strikes me, pop, pop, bang. See? He strikes me, pop, 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 boom, see? bang. So the, the application again is the weapon. At the same time I'm using the manual, using my elbow, using so in short in in doing the fight. Uh, you, you you utilize what is available in your in your physical body, okay? the utilization of all what you, what you have. So it's not only like like uh, when when I cut him here. Hmm. See, already strike him here. 
with my hands. She, she blocked it. Hmm. She look at that. Hmm. Then again, see? Hmm. Black. Hmm. Pack, he blocked me. Look at this. Hmm. Hmm. This again. See? And he's trapped. He cannot boom. He cannot counter me because if we just do this, I get hit. Bang. That's why I, I check him here. See? Hmm. If he's strong, he, he pushed me down. There's, there's another one here. He just boom my car and this one again in the, in the face. See? He blocked me. Look at that. He blocked me. Pa, I don't have to use this. Just put it down here like this and that's another one. So, you see now, uh, again, like I said, uh, like, like any other styles, it has so many variations. Many variations. But this is the way how we interpret our variation. Okay? So, like I said again, um, there, there is no special styles. Yeah. Just a special way of training. <laughs> Just do your best, train well, and you'll be good. Yeah. You don't have to be the best, just be the good one. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's our principle, our wisdom in Abanigo Tres Puntas. If you look good, you must be good. <laughs> Wait, what's the inside one this way? I don't really know the drill, so I'm just making it up. <laughs> Alright guys, that was absolutely awesome. We got a really great demonstration, really great overview of the system. I got to learn some basic stick work, which honestly, I absolutely suck at it. I mean, it's really confusing because I'm so used to wanting to move in close, you know, with the empty hand stuff. The idea, at least in Mantis, is always to get in close, right? But with the sticks, you're trying to maintain your range. So for me, I was like a complete beginner, a complete noob at that. But I got to do a little bit of the empty hand stuff with them as well, which was nice because that's a lot more compatible and like it came pretty natural to me and we had fun. So now, now we're going to head over to Master Rene's house and we're going to have a sit down, have some coffee and he's going to tell me about like the history of the system and everything like that. Yeah, um, you see, um, Abanico Tres Puntas is uh, a classical system that was uh, developed sometime in 1934 according to my teacher Grandmaster Mateo uh, Danisa Estelioso of uh, uh, Colasi town in uh, province of Antiqui in, uh, in uh, Visayas area. So um, it's like I said it's a classical system so it says uh, Abanico is, is uh, one of the common or the most, one of the most popular styles in uh, that part of the Ilongo region. And Tres Puntas is only one of those abanicos. So, uh, shall we say, uh, uh, abanico, Tres Puntas, is coming from uh, his two, two teachers. So uh, he integrated both, such so that he became the abanico, 
tres puntas. Now to maintain the, 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 traditional, uh, the traditional spirit of the art, um, he called it a, a classical system, so he called it classical arnis abanico tres puntas. Now abanico tres puntas as, as a, a system has four subsystems. Um, subsystem in uh, uh, sticks combat, uh, subsystems in uh, blade or uh, knife, long blade or knife, subsystems in uh, dumog ipit. Dumog ipit means uh, uh, dumog means uh, wrestle, and ipit means to pin. And the other one is subsystem in uh, mano mano or uh, empty hand. So all of this, if you put them together, it is actually an interpretation of the of the stick concept that is interpreted into to the, to the four different uh, different subsystems. See, but Avalico Tres Puntas in its original form is actually uh, is daga or uh, sword and dagger. It's a short it's a short uh, stick here that represents the dagger and the long stick. That represents the blade, so it's uh, actually uh, a weapon-based uh, system. As we go along, um, I dream of someday uh, to continue teaching the legacy of, of Grandmaster Mateo D. Estelioso of Colasi Antiki and, and spread it throughout the world. Yes, as I promised him uh, when he was still alive, that uh, his legacy his legacy will remain. Some people are asking me, uh, Grandmaster René, uh, you are you founded Abanico Tres Puntas? I said, um, no, uh, it is owned by Grandmaster Mateo uh, Di Estelioso, uh, and, and I am only the caretaker. So my my job, my my first responsibility responsibility is to protect Abanico Tres Puntas, and of course share it throughout the world. So until today, I'm 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 still uh, uh, spreading it through to a standard curriculum that was developed based on the system that he was he was teaching, uh, based on the original form. So it's one can really practice together, can train together um, with, with with the same cadence, the same counting, the same exercises. In short, uh, we are working on a standard. So. And, and, and we dream someday that this legacy will, will uh, continue and, and spread throughout the world and spread the word and, and they, um, like we said, uh, bridge the world through, through friendship, through martial art, through Abanico Tres Puntas. Okay. So I'm, I'm really very happy that uh, you, you, reach, you reach out here to, to see me and, and uh, talk about what we have at Banico Tres Puntas. So I am very happy and, and, and thank you for for this visit. Well, I should say thank you for yeah. taking the time to host me and allow me to come here and show me what your oh, style's yeah. about. And yes, it's it's always an honor, Yes, uh, a privilege for us. Because like I said, uh, it is always uh, our dream to to spread spread this martial art throughout the world and share this not not to teach people how to hurt to hurt people but you know uh, develop develop uh, camaraderie uh, develop uh, the discipline that is required for for the young people you see we you learn abanico tres puntas not not to hurt people you learn abanico tres puntas to develop your your inner discipline and at the same time uh, sp spread goodwill among people bridge bridge uh, create a bridge between continents yeah. so that's why we are now all over the world okay? and i hope someday i i will also visit you in your country and uh, probably work together as a, and and spread spread the, the word and spread the wisdom of abanico tres puntas yeah, thank you for visiting me here. Well, thank you for yeah, hosting. So it's my yeah. honor always. And I hope, like, you, yes. if you have some time to come to Australia, I can oh, return yes. the favor and host you as well.